So we spent £25 and I'll show you what we've got. It's ultimate comfort food. So I'm going to crack on with my Disney clothing DIYs. I'm so happy with these and I think they will go so well. It's a super cute and very affordable way of jazzing up and Disney-fying your clothing. Hi there and welcome back to a new vlog. I've got some really nice and exciting things to share with you today or this vlog. Um, we're going to be doing quite a lot of Disney stuff, lots of DIYs. I'm getting ready for our trip. So I've got some like clothing bits and pieces I want to go through and share some tips with you. We're just heading into town. Aid's got an optician's point appointment. I want to get the last few bits for the trip. Um, and I thought I'd have a little mooch around Primark while he's in there as well. Go and see what's going on in there. Last time we were in there, they were changing seasons between summer and autumn, so it was a bit chaotic. Um, so I thought I'd go and have a little mooch while he's in there. So I really hope you'll enjoy this vlog, hanging out with us, and I would love to know if you do any of your own clothing for Disney as well. Do you adapt any clothing? Do you make any of your own? I would love to know all your little hacks and tips and things like that. up a few bits and pieces in Primark which I'll show you in a bit. I also popped into Lidl. Now we needed a few bits and I didn't want to do a great big shop because we've got quite a lot in already and I knew if I went to the bigger Lidl I would end up picking up more so we went into the little one in town. I had literally had two carrier bags on me already and I knew that whatever I bought had to fit in those bags and I knew that way I would end up spending less and not be tempted to pick up other things so we spent £25 and I'll show you what we've got these were not on my list they are amazing we used to have them when we lived in Germany they are so good we've just opened a box and these ones I'm going to keep for when we see Louis next Aid's going to try Lidl's own brown sauce. This was also not on my list, but I remembered that I'd ran out of it. Coconut milk. Um, whole grain mustard. I keep forgetting to buy this. 49p. I thought that was quite good. Spices and things are much cheaper. These were 65p each. Large tin of sweet corn, 49. And then we've got 99p of wholemeal seeded bread. I think these were 59p. They're large pitters there. Some salady bits, some grapes. Uh, 159 for the grapes. I thought that was quite good. A couple of large baked potatoes. We've got sweet potatoes, onions, cherry tomatoes, some fresh ginger. I did want salmon to go with a quinoa salad for dinner tomorrow. tomorrow. However, the salmon was really, really expensive. So it was 3.99 for two small pieces. So I've ended up going for, for smoked mackerel, which was $1.99. We were just saying before I looked at the sam salmon that we really love mackerel and we haven't bought it for absolutely ages and then it was just two pounds cheaper. So we thought, right, we'll have that instead. And I've started putting a few bits away each shop for um, Christmas presents, little stocking bits. 
I also was really pleased to see they had white bread flour as my larger little never does. And that was, I think it was 85p or 70 something. And the one in Morrison's is now 2.29. Granulated sugar, a big bag of pasta. And this, we haven't tried the Lidl's own Marge, 85p. And the regular Marge has gone up to £1.50 from £1. So we're gonna try this one. And that was everything for £25. Aid popped into Waitrose at the beginning of the week. He had some vouchers. He stocked up on our Pepsi and bought some free range eggs. <laughs> and I think that was it. And he might have got some paracetamol, paracetamol or something. Oh, and milk. And so that has been our whole weekly shop this week. We were there. We were going to have wraps. I was going to do sweet potato and pepper and onion wraps tonight. However, when I bought this pasta, I haven't bought this shaped pasta for ages. It was the cheapest one there and it really made me think of a tuna pasta bake. So we are now gonna have a tuna pasta bake. So I've got the pan on and I'm gonna make a super quick dinner. I'm gonna make a really quick cheese sauce to go with my tuna pasta. That's the amount of margarine. It's one that I always eyeball when I make cheese sauce. And that was two dessert spoons of plain flour. And we're gonna start with a little bit of milk. And we're just gonna whisk that until it's melted. And we're just making, it. oh, I'm really splashing that around, making a cheats roux sauce. And then as that thickens, I'll add a little bit more milk, but just keep stirring. I've made it on here lots of times before. Very quick and easy way to make cheese sauce. I've been adding the milk and the sauce is now quite thick. I'm going to pop in some cheese and we've also got red pepper and onion but I'll add that in a bit. I'll get the cheese on first because this will help the sauce thicken up as well and then I'll also add a bit more milk and lots of seasoning. Salt and pepper, tiny bit of Italian seasoning and that is one amazing sauce and it works out very cheap to make as well. That is done. I've turned that off the heat. Pasta's almost done. I'm gonna pop the grill on at this point and then I'm gonna add chopped peppers, some onion, a tin of little tuna and half a tin of the sweet corn and a few cherry tomatoes sliced on top and then I'll put a load more cheese on there as well. I haven't made a cheese sauce for so long. It is so delicious. I just need to add the pasta now. And I've sliced over some cherry tomatoes and now I'm gonna add some slices of cheese and pop under the grill. And that gives oh, <laughs> me the time to sort this out and tidy up at that. Doesn't that look amazing? I haven't made a tuna pasta bake for so long. It's ultimate comfort food. So let's go through what I bought in Primark. Um, first item, I ended up buying some new bedding. I wanted to, um, I'm wanting to do Holly's room out because she's away now for two years. Um, we want to use that time to decorate it again, put some new bedding on, give it a fresh kind of look. Still in her kind of taste but also as a room that we can use for like when my sister comes and stays or if any friends come and stay. So I picked up this like waffle bed linen. I wanted to keep it really neutral. I'm wanting to keep it with like the greys, the whites and the greens. Lots of plants in there and I think it would just, I just want it to have like a calming kind of feel. Really love this. It's a really nice soft, you can just see the waffle there. It's 14 but it went through as 13. It came up with a pound discount. Um, that's double and it's got the two pillowcases with it. We've already got new bed linen that I'd already bought. So I am pleased with that and I look forward to making that up. Now I bought myself some trainers. This was the reason I went in for these ones. I was after some really comfy trainers and my friend Emily had these. And I saw them the other day. I bought the blue ones recently. Uh, I think I was, I've shown these on here already because I put some old little clips there from old trainers on there and they are still quite clumpy 
Um, they're quite large, especially as I'm only little, they look quite big on me. I saw Emily the other day and her trainers look really, really dainty. I said, oh, they're from Primark and this was what I was looking for. You can see the difference in them there. These ones are quite chunky. However, I can't wear adult shoes, I'm too small. I can sometimes get away in Primark though with a three and these ones are really, really cushioned inside. And although they're a little bit big, I can get away with it. However, these three, I think because they're not so cushioned, I really can't. And my toe only come up, comes up to about there. Um, I have bought some insoles. You can't try them on properly in the shop because they're attached together and you can only kind of do that. I bought these really, really cushioned insoles for a pound. So I did think about cutting them and trying. But the other thing is they come up very high on the back. And I just think they're going to end up giving me blisters. So I may well take them back. But both pairs are only £10. And they're super, super light. And I ju you just know that if you get drenched in Florida, they're going to be really, really quick to dry. They've kind of got that sketches look. But I just struggle so much because I only wear, I've only got kids' size feet. Kids' shoes are so uncomfortable because they're more structured. The backs come up high. I always get blisters and obviously I'm too small to wear adult shoes so I end up just wearing flip-flops and converse and sometimes I don't want to just wear flip-flops and converse I'd wear, like to wear something a little bit different but I really really struggle I did wear Zara my Zara pumps the whole time last time and I actually man they're a brand new pair and I've managed to wear them down this sole um, inside has started to get a hole now and I only wore them for two weeks but also by I think wearing the same pair of shoes the whole apart from I wore a pair of sandals sometimes um, I got really achy feet and I kind of want to switch it up a little bit so I don't know what I'm going to do at the moment I've got a few little stocking fillers so I've got some bits to put away I got these as a gift for a friend I have a question actually so they're the little, um, can you see the little measuring spoons? They're so cute, little Mickey ones. Um, what's this bit for? What would you use that for? Is that a tea strainer actually? I don't, I don't know, measuring spoons, doesn't say. I just think they're really cute, they're just two pounds. Lovely colors as well, I like those a lot. Um, I also, what else did I buy? Oh, I didn't buy any t-shirts or anything this time. Um, I popped into the works and I picked up some embroidery thread for three pounds. I thought that was a really good price for all those. I need to redo my little sewing pouch that I have. It's very, very messy and I would like to completely reorganize it. I also bought some gesso. I've been needing gesso for ages. My last lot went moldy. Six pounds for all that from the works. Oh, Toothbrushes, I like to keep spare toothbrushes in the house. Primark are only 75p. That kind of thing when you have a guest. I think my brother and my sister forgot theirs last time. So it's just nice to have something that you can then um, give to somebody when they stay. I picked up nail polish remover from Boots and um, some hand soaps as well. We always take these on, on holiday with us, um, just hand soaps. So we keep an extra one in the bathroom and then when we've got the villa we've got one in the bathroom downstairs loo and um, the kitchen as well um just so that there's plenty of soap for everybody and that was my little haul i'm sure i bought other stuff as well oh puppy you look so cute she's gorgeous she's rested her little squirrel underneath her face do you think she knows how cute she is you're so sweet Something else I wanted to do this weekend is alter a skirt, no sewing, make some Disney ears, no sewing, and do a t-shirt to match, no sewing. So I would like to get that done as well. So I'm going to crack on with my Disney clothing DIYs. I've been really excited about doing these, and most of the items that I'm using are from Primark. So I want to move on to my Primark and Disney DIYs. I did a t-shirt last time we went away and I added some fabric on it. It was just a cheap Primark white t-shirt with a little stitched pocket that I made. I'll leave a link to the video below. I'm now wanting to pop a little um, pocket on the back of my jeans. These are just cheap £6 Primark jeans, um, shorts 
and I had the matching fabric I had some left over from when I made the t-shirt and I'm going to pop this on here I've just cut it to size and I'm going to fray the edges off and I'm going to do exactly this I did with the t-shirt the t-shirt I hemmed with the wonder web and then I did actually hand stitch that around before I popped it on the t-shirt the shorts though I'm going to add the wonder web underneath and iron that on. So there's the wonder web. Let's pop the pocket on there. It's already hemmed from when I did the t-shirt. Let's make sure those little bits are tucked up. I've just splashed some water over it. I'm going to pop a clean tea towel and press the iron over. And hopefully that will stick in place look how cute these are I really love those with the little pocket as well and I've already made ears I'll go and grab those so here we have the ears that I've already made the t-shirt and now the shorts as well and yeah it looks really really cute I love the ears so much, really chuffed with those. Now in case you missed the last video, I will leave the link below, but I'm going to make up another pair of ears now to show you how quick and easy they are. And it's completely no sew. This is the dress here that I want the ears to go with. I'm going to wear this in Animal Kingdom. I've got this fabric here, which has got dinosaurs on. I bought this as a fat quarter in um, the craft show at the NEC in June and I'm thinking this would make really really cute ears to go with this dress I think the colors go really well these by the way when I bought them it's from Primark years ago it had gold buttons and I've popped my own buttons on which I think looks so much sweeter so I'm going to make it exactly as I did before I've got the ears I've got the fabric I've got another piece of fabric for the center I did quite like the idea of going with green, but then it's quite similar to orange birds. So we'll go with the yellow center. I've got some um, toy filling there and I've got the wonder web, iron and scissors. First thing I'm going to do, we're going to be making a tube with the fabric and I'm just laying on the wonder web because I want to hem the edges just to make it really neat. As you can see here, there's no ugly, um, like loose pieces of thread. It's all very neat. Oh, and we need a glue gun as well to stick that in place. So I've now got all my um, edges really tidy. And now we are going to bring these up and I want to join these together to make our tube. And I'm going to be using the Wonder Web again. So I've got my little tube, as you can see, and I'm now going to pop some of the stuffing in here. So I've secured the ends exactly the same, hemming them over with the Wonder Web. I'm now wanting to make the center of the bow. I've just tied off a bit of fabric and tied that on the reverse side. That gives us like that bow shape. But I'm actually now thinking I like the idea of a knot in the middle to make it a little bit different. So I'm gonna trim that and because I wanted a wider piece, I'll see how that looks. I think that could go quite cute. And now I need to remove the dodgy looking bow and stick the cute bow on the front. So I just had an idea, I'm heating up the um, hot glue gun. I have some really cute dinosaur paper clips. I've pulled out the back a little bit and slid it onto the center so it hooks at the back. Doesn't that look cute? I've popped some hot glue gun on the in the center. I'm also gonna pop some under the ears as well, just so that it holds in place really well. The other thing to do if you're using a fabric with print make sure it's the right way up when you put it on I am loving these look at these aren't they cute I think they've turned out really really well and the Primark ears are just three pounds a pair if you can get hold of some grab them tart them up yourself make them a bit more fun it's so easy and really fun and they are the most comfortable ears I have ever worn I'm so happy with these and I think they will go so well with this dress. What do you think? I'm really, really pleased. 
I've also got a couple of other little mini mini DIYs to do as well that you can use to kind of like just change your outfits a bit just to make them a bit more Disney. You may have seen recently Primark have loads of little denim dresses in. Short dresses, long dresses. I picked up this one from Topshop quite some time ago and I am going to pop a little pin on the pocket there. It's It was a Primark set of pins, I think there was about four or five and I just plan to pop it on there, pin it on when we're in Disney next time. I think that will look so so cute and it's quite nice because then I can remove it as well when I'm not in Disney. A question I get stopped and asked about all the time in Disney are my shoe toppers. They just clip on or they don't clip actually they thread onto your laces. Now I got these from some shoes in Zara Kids. I absolutely love them and I've worn one of the pairs down so I've taken off the top the topper and I've put them onto Primark trainers which I really love however you can buy these in Primark these are Primark kids shoes which I've been wearing and they also have a, a little topper there and they've got them in sale on sale at the moment I think they start at about 13 pounds so if you were willing just to have the toppers for 13 pounds you could go in there buy a pair of shoes you could gift them as they are, there's nothing wrong with them, or even resell them um, without the topper and keep the topper to thread onto your shoes because I think they look so cute. I'm going to be adding these onto my normal Converse this year as well. And final project, an iron on patch. This one, Animal Kingdom Wilderness Explorer, £2.50, including delivery from eBay, brand new. And I plan to pop it on there. This t-shirt is from Next two at seven pounds each or you can buy one for 750 and they come in loads and loads of colors i do love these i have got quite a lot of the white ones i like the little folded bit there they feel really really lovely quality i think that would be a super cute animal kingdom t-shirt and you could even pop this on a bag rucksack um, on the bottom of a skirt back of the jeans something like that it's a super cute and very affordable way of jazzing up and disneyfying your clothing that's it with the DIYs. I keep thinking what other ears I can make. I've got some really cute cloud fabric that would go really, really well with my cloud dress. So I've got so many ideas at the moment. Let me know if you like to play with your clothing, update it, upcycle it, and just have fun with it if you like to do your own thing. I'd love to hear from you, love to hear your ideas, and let me know what you found in Primark lately. Have you found any great bargains, any sort of particular Disney clothing that you're in love with? Let me know, leave a comment below. Thanks so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye!